Hello and welcome everyone to yet another tech enthusiastic video from Edureka. Today we will learn how to install Hadoop in Windows 10 operating system. Now let's quickly begin with the agenda for today's session. Firstly, we shall go through the prerequisites to install Hadoop in Windows operating system and followed by that the Java version, the Hadoop version that we are going to download and install in our system and the procedure. Let's quickly begin with the prerequisites. The prerequisites to install Hadoop in Windows operating system are Java. So we all know that Hadoop supports only Java version 8. So firstly, we need to download Java 8 version followed by that a latest Hadoop version which we need for our operating system than the configuration files. So these were the prerequisites. Now let's quickly go ahead and download Java 8 version into our local system and also Hadoop. So you can see that this particular web page belongs to Oracle and here you'll be getting your Java development kit number 8. So these are the various versions available for Java 8 for Linux as well as Windows. So we need a JDK which is compatible with Windows. So here you can see that Windows X64 JDK version which will support Windows. So this particular link will redirect you and download JDK 8 for you into your local system. Once you click on it, it will ask you to accept the license terms from Oracle. Now you can just click on download. Followed by this, you will be redirected into a login page where you need to create your own account with Oracle so that you can download this JDK. Don't worry, this account is free of cost. So you can see the JDK is getting downloaded here. So as the JDK is getting downloaded, we shall now move ahead and download Hadoop for our local system. So this particular web page belongs to Apache organization where we can download Hadoop for free. So these are the various versions available for Hadoop which are 2.10, 3.1.3, 3.2.1 .3, and many more. So we shall select the latest version of Hadoop. But while you're selecting the latest version of Hadoop, please make sure that you're not actually downloading the exact latest version of Hadoop. Here you can see we have three different versions. 3.1.3, 3.2.1, 3.1.2. As you can see, 3.2.1 is the latest version. We have to select the version which is earlier to it, which is 3.1.3, because this particular version will be the stable version. Now we shall move ahead and select binary. Once you select binary, you will be redirected into a new web page where you will have a mirror link. Select that mirror link and your Hadoop will be downloaded for your local system. As you can see, Hadoop 3.1.3 tar.gz is getting downloaded. Now here you can see I have successfully downloaded Hadoop version 3.1.3 tar file as well as JDK 8. And those two files are successfully moved into my C drive. Now let's install Java first. Now make sure you that you create a new folder for Java. So select change. And here select Windows C drive then select make new folder. Now rename this new folder as Java. Click OK and now select next. You can see the installation procedure has now been started. You can see Java development kit 8 has been successfully installed. Now we shall enter into program files and move our JDK into Java file because sometimes there will be an error while we set environment variables for Java. So you can see inside program files we have another folder called Java. So inside Java there you have our JDK. So now what I'll be doing is just moving this JDK into Java file which we have created in C drive. This one. Now you can just delete this Java file from your program files so that you don't have to mess with duplication of Java file. Now you have your Java and JDK in one single file, which is Java that is you have created in Windows C drive. Now we shall move ahead and set the environment variables for Java. So click Windows and then enter into settings and inside the settings select system and inside system just type in environment variables and there you go. Select the edit the system environment variables option and you have this dialog box here. Select environment variables and inside the environment variables you need to set the Java home as well as path for Java. Now select new and here just type in Java home and here 
let us add the location of JDK bin. So here we will add in the variable value that is the JDK bin location. So our JDK bin location is in the C drive and inside the C drive we have the Java folder and inside Java folder we have our JDK 1.8.0 and inside JDK file we have the bin location. So this will be the home location for Java. Select OK and then now move into the next dialog box which is the system variables and inside that select path and select edit. Here create a new path variable which will be the JDK path. The same location that is the bin of JDK. Select OK and now select OK again and now OK and close it. Now Java has been successfully installed into our local system. Now let's check Java is functional or not. We can do that by selecting Windows R and inside Windows R just type in CMD so that you can open your command prompt. Here just type in Java C. If you see the set of files popping up into your terminal then it means that Java is working properly. So you can see Java is working just fine. Now let us check the version of our Java installed into our local system. So this can be checked by typing in Java space hyphen version. So you can see we have 1.8 version which is running in our local system. Now that we have successfully installed Java into our local system. Let us now move ahead and install Hadoop into our local system. You can see that we have downloaded the tar version of Hadoop. So for that we need to extract it first. Now you can see that the process of extraction has been completely finished that is 100% but you have three errors. You can ignore these errors. Now just close the extracting process. Then you have your Hadoop file. Now let us rename our Hadoop 3.1.3 as just Hadoop to reduce the confusion. Now that we have successfully extracted Hadoop, let's set environment variables for Hadoop. But before that, let's set the configuration of Hadoop. You can select Hadoop and inside that you have a file called etc. And inside etc you have another folder with the name Hadoop and inside that you have a set of folders. So out of these all folders we have four important folders. They are core site.xml then hdfs site.xml followed by hdfs we have another one which is mapped site.xml and lastly the yarn site.xml file. So we need to edit all these four different files. And once after we edit these four files, we need to edit one last file, which is the Hadoop ENV Windows command prompt file. So here you're just going to add in the Java home location. Now let's quickly edit all those four files. So we have successfully opened our four important files, which are core site.xml, mapreduce site.xml, yarn site.xml, hdfs site.xml, followed by the four important files. The last file which is the Hadoop environment.cmd file. Here we are going to set this Java home location. Now let's first set the values for core site.xml. So the values that are changed in core site.xml are the properties. So inside the configuration I have added one property which is the file location that is fs.default file system and the local host location that is 9000. Now let us save this core site.xml. Similarly, we need to also edit mapreduce site.xml files here inside this we need to add some properties As you can see we have also edited the configuration files of mapreduce site.xml Let's save it now followed by the mapreduce site.xml. We have yarn site.xml. Let's edit this also As you can see the yarn site.xml is also been updated. No worry about this property file I will link this in the description box below you can have the access to it and you can use the same configuration file and install Hadoop. Followed by yarn site.xml, we have the last one which is hdfs site.xml. But before editing this particular file, I want you to create a new folder in Hadoop location which is data. Let's see how to create it. So this particular folder is inside C drive. This is Hadoop and inside this Hadoop file, you need to create a new folder with the name data. Inside data, you need to create two more new files which are data node and name node. So the first folder will be name node, and now another folder which will be our data node. So now let's copy the location of data node and 
name node. So this location is the data node location and followed by that the name node location. So this particular location will be the name node location. We have the two locations copied onto our clipboard. Now let's go back to the HDFS site.xml file and edit the configurations here. So you can see that we have edited the configuration file of HDFS site.xml and inside the configuration we have provided the replication factor which is the first property and we have set the value as one. Since we are using our local system we might want to save memory so the replication is only one but the default value for the Hadoop replication factor is three and followed by the first property the second property which is our name node. So we have provided our name node location which is Hadoop file and followed by that the data file and inside that we have the name node and similarly the last property which is the data node property. So here the value is Hadoop data data node. Now let's save it. Now that we have successfully edited all our four important files. Let's get back to Hadoop env.cmd file and edit the Java home location. So for safer side, let's get back to environment variables and get our JDK location. So this particular location is the location for Java home. We might want to remove the bin over here. So only C Java JDK is enough to set the Java home into our Hadoop env.cmd file. Now let's save this particular file and close it. So all the important files have been now successfully edited. Now let's go back to environment variables and set home and path for Hadoop. Now select new and write in Hadoop home. So this particular location that is C Hadoop when is the location for Hadoop home. Now select OK. Now let's get back to path and set path for Hadoop files. In here let's set up a new path variable that is Hadoop bin and now remember to create another path variable that is your S bin. So to locate S bin get back into Hadoop and select S bin and this will be the location or path value for your S bin. Select that and edit a new variable in path and paste it. So that's how you set S bin and select OK, OK and finally another OK and close the system properties. Now that we have successfully set home and path for Hadoop, let's go ahead and fix the configuration files. You can see that inside the bin folder of Hadoop, we are missing some important configuration files. To fix this, we need a new configuration file which will be available in the description box below. You can click on that particular link and the required configuration file will be downloaded into your local system and all you need to do is just replace that particular file with your bin folder in your Hadoop. You can see that there is a new file in my Hadoop which is Hadoop configuration fix bin 1.rar. Now all you need to do is just extract this particular folder. You can see that the folder is been successfully extracted and all the executable files that you require in your Hadoop have been downloaded successfully. Now what you need to do is just move this bin into your Hadoop bin. So cut this bin and get back to Hadoop and enter bin. So just delete this particular bin and replace it with a new one. So there you go. You have successfully done it. Now let's delete the unnecessary files. There you go. As good as new. So you have all the executable files and your Hadoop has been set. To check if Hadoop is functioning properly or not, let's open CMD and type in HDFS space name node space hyphen format. If you see a set of files popping up on your terminal, that means you have successfully installed Hadoop. You can see that the name node has been successfully getting started. Now let's open a new terminal and start all the Hadoop demons here. You just need to enter your Hadoop location file that is cd space Hadoop. Now you are inside Hadoop and inside Hadoop enter sbin. Now you are inside sbin. Now you need to type in start all dot shr start all dot cmd. And there you go. All your demons are getting started. So that's how you install Hadoop into your local Windows operating system with the version Windows 10. So with this, we come to an end of this particular tutorial. If you have any queries regarding this session, 
then please write down to us in the comment section below and we will reply to you at the earliest as possible. Till then, thank you and wish you all a very happy learning.